what is the worst match from every Mega Man X game? Mega Man X has lots of mets for us to hate on for absolutely no reason at all whatsoever, but many of you are probably assuming that Planty is going to be the worst met on account of the last video. But I already told you guys, this is not a met. This is a regular enemy. Mets need helmets and this guy does not have one, so this enemy is not even going to be part of this video. The Mets on the password screen are also a likely candidate to be made fun of because they're on the password screen and the password screen sucks. It's not fun to put in passwords and the Mets don't even have to be there. But that's actually why I like these Mets. They're cute and they make what would be a very boring and annoying password screen just a little bit more charming and I appreciate them for that alone, meaning they cannot be the worst. Now there are a couple of Mets in Armored Armadillo stage who are not brave enough to take on the Crusher enemy which is a bit shameful and cowardly considering the best met from this game is the one who survived the crusher enemy after witnessing the entire stage around to get destroyed by said crusher enemy but you know what i don't blame any of these mets for staying out of the way heck i wouldn't trust my mets helmet in front of a crusher enemy actually maybe i would those helmets seem to be unbreakable well i guess there's the ones from Mega Man 7 with a similar crusher enemy but uh, this is Mega Man x they've probably been upgraded the worst met has already been decided though and i think it's pretty obvious it's this stupid met from flame mammoth stage specifically the one on the right side of this platform first of all he stops you from getting up onto the platform which is very annoying and frustrating already but once you get up there and kill the second met the right one can respawn and knock you off the platform all the way back down which is a pain now this is not the biggest deal in the world when you're playing normally and you have all the upgrades and stuff but even then it's still annoying at the very least to get all the way back up there but when you're playing dash list like i did in the video last week this match is even worse I'm sitting here trying to line up my jump to get the sub tank without dashing and this met comes in and literally ruins my life Literally everyone hates this met. I hate this met. My brother hates this met. Sheepwave hates this met. Levi hates this met No, I don't. Tizzy Q hates this met. Otto Von Bismarck hates this met I mean, it's a landslide victory here by this met for being the absolute worst met from Mega Man X In Mega Man X 2, like I talked about in the best mets video, we have a weird situation because the only real Met is the Garakuda robot and according to my comment section those Met's helmets on their shoulders aren't just helmets but actual Met enemies which is super cool and I didn't even notice that myself but with this being the only Met it's hard to find one that would be the worst we decided that the best one was the one that you could make fall into this hole over and over again because that's hilarious and it really doesn't get much better than that but it certainly does get worse and I think the worst Met from this game has got to be the first Garakuda robot you're probably thinking this is a very random choice, but I promise it is not. These Mets are very ugly as far as Mets normally go, and I mean very ugly. So ugly, in fact, that the first time you see this thing, you're probably like, ugh, and you wouldn't even notice the fact that it's a Met due to the sheer power of ugliness that it emits. I had to pass three or four of these guys the first time I played Mega Man X2 before I got used to it and realized myself. And because of that, the first Garakuda Robot Met is definitely the worst. I mean, it's a big shock seeing some Something this ugly for the first time. Just like Mega Man X2 though, Mega Man X3 puts us in a pickle in the Met department here because the only thing we have that is a Met is the Meta Capsule and yes, I still think this is more of a Met in every way than Planty. And no, I won't stop bringing that up. I'm gonna drive into a wall. I'm gonna drive into a wall because of what you've done. This is your fault. It's not every day you see a car flying through the air and crash land into a wall. It doesn't matter what extremes you all bring yourself to, Planty is not a Met, and the Met uh, capsule is by all definitions a Met. And until Capcom releases an official Met specifications chart, I am the sole authority on this issue. But either way, which Met uh, capsule is the worst Met? Well, we know the rare one from Blast Hornet stage is not the worst because uh, we already decided that was the best one, and that would be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never pick anything as the best and the worst thing from a Mega Man game. <laughs> never. I would never do that. But even if that was something I would hypothetically do in a different video that you guys have probably never seen, I'm not doing it this time. The worst Met from this game has got to be the Meta Capsule from Volt Catfish's stage, and specifically this one right here. I mean, none of these guys are that bad, but this one feels like the most annoying. I mean, sometimes I try to climb up this wall like any Mega Man X3 player would do, and then this jerk shoots electrical stuff at me. That's not cool at all. He's also also in a real rough spot in terms of trying to kill him yourself to the point where your best option is probably climbing on the wall to 
kill him, but we just went over why that doesn't go over very well. I mean, this enemy is just annoying in general. It's never fun to deal with, but this one specifically was put in the prime spots by Sigma to get in Mega Man X's way the most. So congratulations, this one specific meta capsule. You are the worst met for Mega Man X3. Mega Man X4 at the very least has some very regular mets for us to go over. Not to say that the last two games didn't have any mets, but uh, you guys know what I mean. Anyway, there are some mets in a conga line and Magma Dragoon stage, but I'm sure you could imagine that I like these mets a lot, especially if you watched the last video where I spent like five minutes explaining in far too much detail the roles of each met that they take in a conga line, so uh, none of these mets are going to be the worst. I also said that the mets in frozen solid blocks of ice were the best, so they can't be the worst either. Even though it is baffling how they managed to get frozen in a block of ice when they have both night vision and communication with the rest of their Mets team. Which actually brings me to what the worst Mets must be. And it's going to be more than one in this case. Now, I don't like giving out ties in these types of videos because first of all, I don't know how to put them on. But also, generally it's more satisfying to have one specific Met who is the worst from each game. But in this case, a team effort was made here to be indisputably the worst Met. And it's the team of Mets who allowed their Mets friends and teammates to get frozen in blocks of ice. I mean, seriously, it's baffling enough that this happened at all, but if it was due to a lack of communication by the other Mets, or even worse, direct sabotage by the other Mets as some kind of sick practical joke or something, then these other Mets teammates must be the worst Mets, maybe of all time. I mean, this is inexcusable. It's Met abuse, and I'm not gonna stand for it. So to heck with all these Mets that allowed their Met teammates to get frozen in a block of ice, it's unforgivable. And all Mets responsible are the worst Mets for Mega Man X4. With the first half of the terrible Mets taken care of, it's time to move on to the terrible half of the Mega Man X series where I pretty much like all the Mets. Or do I? You never know, with me I could be lying, but uh... I guess we better move on so you can find out the ugly truth. Mega Man X5 does bring a nice, uh, orangey update to our Mets, which is nice, and in the last video we talked about the big Met conga line and how whichever Met started this Met conga line has got to be the best Met, which is true, because Met conga lines are cool. But which Met is the worst? It certainly can't be any Met actively participating in the conga line, right? Which only leaves every single Met that isn't participating in the conga line. And, uh, yeah, I think it's as simple as that. Any Met not participating in the conga line is the worst Met from this game. I mean, what are you Mets doing? Go party, have a good time, you freaks. When it comes to Mega Man X6, we have a serious problem. Pretty much every Met in this game is pretty good. There aren't any bad Mets at all whatsoever. Part of that is because there aren't many enemies other than the Mets to begin with, so whenever you do happen to be fortunate enough to see a Met, it's always a good time. And on top of that, none of the Mets have any annoying qualities. None of them camp out by pits or spikes and try to kill you. They're all just kind of chilling in random places, or in the case of the Flying Mets and Shield Sheldon stage, they are literally guiding the player through what seems like an impossible obstacle which can't be considered to be bad. I mean, the first guy who did this did win the Best Met Award. Someone did make a good point in the comments section of that video though, saying that the Met we ran into likely was not the pioneer we thought he was and actually was more likely to be the Met who went the furthest. And that is a good line of thinking and certainly very logical. But with the new communication these Mets have between each other, I think it's more likely that the first Met who was brave enough to traverse this invisible ground communicated what was going on to the rest of his team and just stood there on the first platform leading the way through telecommunication. Or maybe I'm wrong, who knows, but either way, none of these Mets could possibly be the worst. There's also another Kong line and Metal Shark player stage, and that's not only really cool, but it also makes every Met involved immune from being the worst Met in Mega Man X6. So, uh, we're really running out of Mets to make fun of here. I guess it's true that Mega Man X6 just doesn't have any bad Mets. Well, except for one thing. Right after the Conga Line and Metal Shark player stage, there's actually a lone Met who's not participating. And what the heck is up with that? Did you not hear what I said about Mega Man X5? Go join in the Conga Line, you bozo! You were the worst Met from Mega Man X6 because you weren't having fun with the other Mets. Mega Man X7, despite being a pretty terrible game, all things considered, has some pretty decent Mets. I mean, none of them are great, but at the very least, there aren't really that many bad ones, at least that I can think of. I mean, this game has some pretty blue Mets, which are nice to look at, some classic-ish looking Mets that are actually green for some reason, and how could any of us forget the Met that just sits by this Reploid in need of help keeping him company? I mean, if this was Mega Man X6, a nightmare enemy would show up and turn this guy evil or something, but luckily for this guy specifically, there is a Met here protecting 
collecting them. But those Mets are all good. Which Mets are bad? Well, honestly, not really any of them. None of them are explicitly bad, so uh, we're gonna have to really grasp at straws here, scrape the bottom of the barrel, split hairs, etc. to find the worst Mets, but mostly etc. The one Mets who I have seemed to find some sort of nitpicky complaint with is this lazy guy sitting on top of the crates and Splash Warfly stage. What is this guy doing? Nothing. That's what he's doing. He's just lazy. There's another Mets in this exact same stage babysitting a Reploid and helping them out. There are several Mets who actually attack Mega Man X, but this Mets right here is a lazy bum. Get a job, you Met! Because of your lack of willpower to put any amount of work into what's supposed to be your job, you really should be fired, but since I don't have that type of authority, you're just gonna have to settle for being the worst Met for Mega Man X7, which will probably show up on your performance review. Mega Man X8 has tons of great Mets for us to go through, which is unfortunate since this is a video on, uh, let me check my notes real quick. Oh yeah, this is a video on the worst Mets! Like I said in the best Mets video, basically every type of Met in this game is really cool, but one of these Mets made me look like a fool. And now I look like an even bigger fool because I rhymed that by mistake. But the Mets I'm referring to here is actually the mech riding Met who rides the mech Evangelion style. Now at first glance, there's nothing wrong with this Met. In fact, even objectively, if you sit here hard and analyze everything about this Met, there's nothing inherently wrong with the mech riding Met. But there is a problem here, which is the fact that in the last video I said, I don't think I've ever seen a Met pilot a machine like this. And I talked about how this was revolutionary for Met kind. Now, luckily, I did not call this Met the best, otherwise I probably would have had to delete my channel. But this was still a big blunder because I had a huge lapse in judgment Logan Paul style. I completely forgot about the best Met of all time, Matonger Z. That's right, Matonger Z was piloting an even bigger Met all the way in the classic series, which was hundreds of years before Mega Man X8 ever took place. Meaning the mech riding Met for Mega Man X8 not only made me look like a fool for forgetting about our lord and savior Matonger Z, but it's actually not even that impressive. This guy is a chump compared to the almighty Matonger Z from Mega Man 6. In fact, I can't even look at this Met the same anymore. I don't think I will ever be able to look at Mega Man X8's mech riding Met the same ever again for the rest of my life. This Met is despicable for attempting to reach the potential of Matonger Z only to fail miserably. You'll never be Matonger Z, you Met riding mech. I mean, are you mech riding Met? You're just an ordinary Met who just happened to be put in this much smaller machine and that's all you'll ever be. You should have read the story of Icarus, you mech riding Mets because you've clearly flown much too close to the sun and here you have returned and ruined your entire career. I used to think you were cool, but now I know you're a fraud. And because of that, the mech riding Met is easily the worst Met for Mega Man X8. Matonger Z would be ashamed if he were here to see this, but luckily for you, I don't think he is. But you never know with Matonger Z, he could be watching the video, in which case I would ignore all of your emails, at least for the next little bit. Those were the worst Mets from every Mega Man X game, X through X8. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and next week as of right now or next time as of right now uh, I don't know I actually don't know what we're gonna upload I have a lot of ideas in general for the near future but who knows what we're uploading next maybe it'll be the best sniper Joel from every Mega Man game maybe it'll be the stupidest spike or the stupidest hole from every Mega Man X game maybe we'll do some Mega Man X or classic Mega Man Mythbusters who knows the possibilities are endless but uh leave a comment down below on what you guys want to see and I'll get one of my friends to read them out to me out loud because uh well as you know I can't read.